Hello and happy World Social Work Day. We have quite a history now of celebrating our profession on the third Tuesday in March each year. This year, the theme for World Social Work Day, which is selected by the International Federation of Social Workers, is Ubuntu. The poster says, Ubuntu, I am because we are. In the last few weeks, I've been working with a young, incredibly talented animator. We've been talking about the possibility of us doing some brief animations that might break down complex social work theory concepts into something that's a little bit more fun for us to watch and listen to. And with just a week or two, we challenged ourselves to try and put something together about Ubuntu for World Social Work Day this year. Because I think that there are social workers, particularly in the UK, and students who are celebrating World Social Work Day, but are not too sure what Ubuntu is all about. After all, if you do a Google image search on Ubuntu, what you get is loads of information about a computer programme. Now, we've been doing a lot on computers over the last 12 months, and so you might be thinking that that is actually what World Social Work Day is all about this year. It's about the implementation of some kind of new computer system. But no, on the poster, it says, I am because we are. And that is Ubuntu. But it goes further than that. And I found this book by Mungi Ngamane a really helpful explanation of the concept, the philosophy of Ubuntu. In there, she breaks Ubuntu down into 14 key lessons that we need to learn. And there's also a foreword to the book by her grandfather, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. I found it really helpful when reading the book about Ubuntu and how it relates so closely into social work practice. Even just if you look at the very first of those 14 lessons of Ubuntu, it's all about the importance of seeing yourself in other people. Of course, we know in social work how important self-awareness is. We know that we need to understand ourselves, that we need to reflect to understand ourselves more deeply. We know that we need to be able to see ourselves in others and we must avoid othering. We need to join with others rather than try to disconnect. We need to recognise that there is vulnerability in isolation and that being together and recognising diversity along with always trying to see the bigger picture and taking that perspective is helpful for our social work practice. Times have been tough in the last year and we've been working from home and overloaded with work. And the key aspect of dignity and respect is not just about others, it's about for ourselves too. Self-care isn't just about yoga. Self-care is about how we think about ourselves, how we see ourselves and recognising the importance of forgiveness, not just for others, but for ourselves, not always being too critical of ourselves. Let's recognise the importance of seeing the positive rather than the negative in any situation, in Getting that balance between the two, choosing hope over optimism, hope is vital. It's also a key aspect to return to that I am because we are. We see ourselves in the way in which we connect with others. And whilst at the moment we have to stay physically distanced, we can remain socially connected. And those connections are essential to our very being as human beings. So let's go back to those 14 principles of Ubuntu. Munga Ngamane tells us that we need to see ourselves in others. And we know, as we've said, how important self-awareness is. We know that now more than ever, we must come together as a profession. And World Social Work Day helps us to do that. 
Ubuntu calls for us to put ourselves in the shoes of others, to see the bigger picture, to promote respect and dignity for ourselves and for others. It asks us to believe in the good of everyone and it suggests that we recognise that there is good in everyone and that we have to help people to find it in themselves. It calls for us to choose hope over simply just being positive and optimistic all of the time, recognise the importance of hope. And now more than ever, we must look for hope and promote hope for others. Ubuntu also tells us that we need to connect and that forgiveness is vital. It talks about how important diversity is. And as a profession, we claim to do this, but do we really recognise and embrace diversity? Ubuntu also asks us to find humour in humanity. And of course, that's vital, but we must make sure that the humour that we use is in line with the values and ethics of our profession. We know that little things make a big difference and the small stuff matters. And we know how important listening is. But Ubuntu also calls for us to acknowledge reality. And I think sometimes World Social Work Day leads to lots of celebration without the reality. But let's keep things real. Things are tough right now. We've been challenged the last 12 months since last World Social Work Day. Social Work's almost been turned on its head. Now, Archbishop Desmond Tutu talks about Ubuntu as one of Africa's greatest gifts to the world. But he says it's a gift with which, unfortunately, not many people are familiar He describes Ubuntu as a concept that he says, in my community, is one of the most fundamental aspects of living lives of courage, compassion and connection. And when I read that in the foreword of Munge's book, I was really taken by this as a concept that's about courage, compassion and connection. And then I recognised All these words beginning with the letter C, community, concept, courage, compassion, connection. And it made me think about the reality of the last 12 months of social work practice in the middle of a COVID or coronavirus pandemic. It's led to change, to challenges and a crisis impacting on the communities that we serve We've needed to draw on compassion and be courageous. We've considered the contemporary context and we've been creative within organisational cultures. We've cherished our connections and we've developed camaraderie. As social workers, we're often the Cinderella service, but we really need to give credit where it's due. And I wish that I could convey the contribution that every one of you has made So let's celebrate this day in our professional calendar. It's so important for us that we do come together as social workers and we do value what we do. I hope that this brief film has helped to think about how Ubuntu is a little bit more than I am because we are. Happy World Social Work Day and thank you for everything that you do. But whilst we're here, I really can't leave without making a quick plug for a book which I've been involved in editing along with Wayne Reed, who is an anti-racism visionary for BASWA. This book, Hidden Narratives from Social Workers of Colour, contains poems and stories and reflections from black social workers and social workers from other global majority communities. If a book has ever demonstrated the concept of Ubuntu in social work, then this is it. It's been described in all of the reviews as a beautiful book, and it is, but it's one which will give a student social worker a quotation for everything you're ever going to need. This is one of those books you will go to for every single assignment. It's brilliant. It brings perspectives. It helps us to see ourselves in others. It helps embrace diversity. This is a book which is Ubuntu. Thank you for listening.